we're in a bit of a predicament. So here's our situation we're currently in. I'm out here by myself. We're out in the middle of the woods. We're kilometers up here right now. And uh, yeah, the bike won't start. I'm too far to be able to walk out by myself right now without ending up being somewhere in the middle of the forest when night falls, uh, especially with what the weather report calls for. It, there's a chance of rain. I don't know if it's gonna hit or not. Yeah, I just came out here. I was gonna come out to this river, sit here, have a snack, have a beer, and then go climb up one of the mountains up over there and do a little bit of riding and then ride home. As you guys seen, we rode out on the street here. I think at this point, we're gonna be spending the night out in the woods. I do, you know, I do come slightly prepared. I have some things that are gonna be able to help me get through the night. Uh, as of right now, I think I need to find I need to find a good spot to sleep. I think as of right now, I think I'm gonna sleep right here underneath these trees. I think that's gonna be my best bet. I can stack up, make a good wind break. Pretty thick trees right here, so that should stop some of the wind from that way. It seems to be blowing in. I, I do, thankfully, I have my little foldy saw for when there's trees down in the trails. So sitting right here is gonna be like the perfect little spot with some trees overhead for some sort of rain protection, I guess. Always an adventure with me, that's for sure. Let's see what I can come up with. Found a couple down green trees, so I'm gonna put those up on the back now. So I found these ones, they're like an uprooted tree, so they're already dead, but they're perfect because, you know, they're still alive, but it's already uprooted, so they're gonna die sitting on the ground. So it looks like the perfect tree to use. So we're just gonna think I'm gonna crisscross these trees and then I'll pile some crap up behind it. I'm glad to do this. Usually I'm out camping for fun and I've definitely never just slept outside like this. All right, something like, I think something like that's gonna be as good as we get. I'm gonna look for that, there's more down tree over there. So I'm gonna take some of that shrubbery and then we're gonna stick it in vertical. I think that's gonna be our back wall there. Probably still use a handful more branches, but let's take a peek from the side. Okay, if we're tucked down in here, now kind of up. I really don't know how we're gonna make it so we have some sort of roof here. But, wow, I'm glad we have that windbreak. It is, I can hear the wind just whipping through the trees, but right here, beautifully calm. And then we got our huge honking. Maybe I should have moved it slightly more over here so it's a bit closer to me, but I think either way, if I sit in here, get a nice big long fire, I think I might try and work on one more layer higher. But luckily it looks like there's endless firewood. Well, we got to start with some, some firewood. I'm going to just collect as much as I possibly can here because once it's dark, Sure as hell you ain't gonna wanna go out and start wandering around looking for firewood, so. I'm just gonna go to freaking town here and see all the firewood I can find. Okay, so crack the cold one, cause I'm gonna be here a while, but it seems like it. Got a small pile of firewood. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. And that doesn't really look so nice. And that's getting me a little bit concerned. So I think we need to shift priorities to right now to figuring out how I can get some sort of thing to sit underneath. So if it starts raining, I can stay dry at least and keep my backpack and some of my gear dry. I think we're gonna pull out this little nylon wrap here. And let's see how we can hang this sucker up. So let's move our beer. Got one of these beautiful Whistler Brewing Pale Ls. Man, that's tasty right now. I need it. Carp. Luckily, I got my Roni stick as per usual, so that's good. Extra bike fuel. Not that's really going to help me, but you never know. We might need it for a fire if it did start raining, so I'm thankful I do have that. This right here, this is all we got for a roof, so let's see how big it is and just be careful not to rip it because I know from just what I've heard people say is these things are ridiculously thin. Okay, so just in case it does start raining, I just do my rain little layer on. And I do have this little ball of cordage I always bring in my backpack because you just, sometimes we use it as a pull strap for someone, if their bike breaks down, we can pull it behind us. All right, so luckily we have this little public land riders bag on our bike here that always has a multi-tool in it. Cause hey, you never know when you're gonna need a multi-tool. All right, so here we got the rock kind of tucked up in it. And then I think you take this. Once again, no idea what I'm doing. I'm just freaking trying here. Cause that's all I can really do. Okay, so there's a corner and a ball. And I should be able to tie this around a tree. And I think, I don't know if there's a right or a wrong side, but I think we'll go, I don't know guys. I don't know what I'm doing. No, 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 no. Okay, just about ripped it. That was close. Okay, so let's see. That's kind of like that. See what we're working with, I think? I think this'll, I think this'll do, okay. It's like this. I really don't know how we're gonna make this work, but we're trying here. And I think, let's see here. Oh man, I'm so sappy. I'm not crying, just trees. Lots of tree branches getting me. All right, well, I think here's home for the night. I have no idea what I'm doing, but 
it's on a slant, so at least the water should run, if it hits water down, it should run off and away from me is the, the hopes, right? I think it's gonna work. I don't know, it's gonna be really loud, annoying. So when it comes to starting a fire, I don't play around. I got lighters for days in here, so get this fire going and I'm just gonna go ham with collecting as much firewood as I can really till it's dark. But I don't play around when it comes to fires and I don't play around when it comes with uh, stuff to use to start the fires because one time when I was out in the woods, I really had to go use the washroom and uh, we didn't have any of this magical stuff. And I I used moss and that was the worst experience of my life so so at least i have something to help me get this rocking and rolling but yeah i always bring multiple lighters because sometimes they get wet sometimes they get cold and then fire won't start i'm gonna have to get used to listen to that thing crinkle for the next 12 hours until the sunlight comes back that's gone over the mountain now the sun's gone i don't know how much so much more light we have but we got some i'm sure now we'll just grab our nice beautiful bundle of sticks get this rocking and rolling on both sides Just pile some of those on, pile these ones vertically, the opposite way, so put one layer that way and the other way this way, and should get good ventilation. And uh, let's see if this thing goes up. Looks, looks pretty promising already down in there, so I think we're gonna be in business, no problemo. So let's get some more wood on this so this baby can just start roaring. If there's anything I've learned from all the different survival shows that I've watched over the years, when you think you've got enough firewood, double it because you won't have enough firewood. It's gonna get to like 2, 3 a.m. and then you're gonna be out of firewood and freezing your butt off. So we're gonna double that. And then I think we'll be okay for the night. Then we can start enjoying ourselves with the situation we're presented with. I mean, honestly, it's pretty incredible. When I come sitting here, got a nice stick to here to sit on too. Oh man, I can feel the warmth. Like I am pretty far back from that fire, but man, there's a huge honk and pile of coals down in there. I can feel the warmth all the way back here. So yeah, so as you guys can see, there's like piles up here. It just keeps going, it looks like. So I think, yeah. It's just a little riverbed, but you can see there is. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna struggle tonight with firewood so long as uh, I can carry it all there. It's a little awkward walking in all these bouldery rocks, but yeah. See, I want some big honker chonkers that'll burn for hours. This is what I'm like really looking for is these big, big honking logs. Cause they're just these, they're so burnable, right? Like it's like a fire from the ocean. The fire just is so roaring hot, but firewood burns through real, real quick. These are like one of these big boys, but that one kind of feels kind of rotten. As you can see, it's pretty rotten, but these ones here are perfect. So we'll just launch these to the, uh, to the other side of this Creek. Don't go in the water. Okay. And we'll come back for these. Yeah, that one's pretty rotty. Any other big boys, but it's also important that you do have some small stuff. So if you fall asleep and it goes out, you can easily get her going again. Oh, this one's gonna burn like a hot mama. Look at that. I don't know what kind of wood it is. I'm not a wood doctor, but this one's a good one. That's something I definitely like to get better with is my tree knowledge. It's kind of hard when you don't have someone telling you what you're looking at to try and understand what it is. But be extra careful too, because I'm, I'm by myself. So if I really F myself, I could really, really F myself. <sighs> okay, well, it was a pretty good pile of firewood. I think we're gonna have enough for the night. I did also bring some leftover pizza from last night because I thought that'd be nice with the beer. So I think we'll throw that down in a little pocket, let that just kind of hang out. All right, I think our pizza, ow, that's hot sucker. Ow, damn, damn Aisha, that's hot. All right, should be some yummy pizza in there. Without dropping our pizza in the river, that'll be no good. Let's keep it away from the water then. Nobody likes a soggy pizza. Oh, I'm gonna just sit there for a hot minute. Oh, hell yeah, a little pepperoni piece. Mm -hmm. Yum. Oh no. Oh no. The whole top is stuck to the freaking. Whoops. Well, this is Aaron's Enduro pizza, baby. Cheers, boys. Wait a second. Cheers, boys. I had to. I couldn't, I couldn't forget about a brewski. You gotta have brewski with the roni, you know? All right, now after a sip of brew. Now we can properly. Cheers, boys. Mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got a little couple char spots. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Love it. That's freaking fantastic, bro. Man, that pizza was good, I tell you what, boys. I guess I'm over here, I might as well grab a couple extra pieces of firewood, why not? All the way out here, might as well grab a couple extras right over here. We're looking down at the river. Man, that's that's a cool little last minute survival hut. I like that. That There's some nice boulders. I like that boulders. 
I like all these boulders. Those are some nice boulders. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what last minute finds we can carry on our way back, even though we're going away from camp right now. Do 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 do. I could think of way worse spots to be stuck at. So. <laughs> way worse spots to be stuck at. I wish I knew what we got. Oh, we got a big old pompous freaking root thing over here. That might be a good last thing when you, right when you're like, okay, I really want to try and catch a couple Zs. You throw that big honker on there. You throw the, all the honkers on, let those suckers burn for hours. And then hopefully you don't have to like mess with your fire. You can try and catch, catch a little, little bit of shut eye. Let's see how, how toasted this. I'll tell you what, the walking in freaking motocross boots suck. Yeah, those two are pretty bad. Actually, I guess we kind of did clear the best of the best firewood, eh? These ones don't have nearly as much stuff piled on them. Oh, there's a bit over there. A couple loose scragglers. Yeah, right on our corner that we're we're at is like the best, actually. So I think we're gonna take this honkus pompous. We'll be looking cooking good. Well, it's a little bit, little bit heavier than she looks, but this is doable as long as I don't bust an ankle. That's like the biggest thing when you're out by yourself. You bust an ankle or a leg. You know, you break an arm, you're still walking out. You break a leg, you ain't walking. You ain't walk, you ain't going nowhere. You're going nowhere real fast, I'll tell you what. Oh, this is a heavy boy. She's dense, like your mama. You didn't hear that. How the F am I walking across this rickety sh stuff? Oh boy, once again. You know what? A piece of firewood is not worth getting wet feet over, you know? My hand's fine, I don't care if my hand gets wet. It's just priority number one when you're gonna be staying overnight somewhere, staying dry and also not sweating because that makes you wet too. If you get wet, that's when you get hypothermia. I'm pretty sure you know that's not good. Well, at this point, there's not much left to do but just love my good old wood buddies I got from with me tonight. There's a lot of us around. Got a lot of wood friends tonight, but it's all right. They seem like real good company. They listen really good. They don't really talk back that much, but they listen pretty good. Ain't that right, Woody? That's what I thought. All right, yeah, guys, uh, I'm just gonna hang out here. That's pretty much all I can do now wait for the sun to just go down all the way here and she'll get dark pretty soon but other than that i think it's time to just sit back kick back maybe take my boots off because those are my ankles are a little a little checked out but phew this thing she's toasty bud ain't no problem keep it warm that's for sure you can feel the heat just radiating just bouncing back to you right here so great idea long fire not tall just wide oh yeah i like them bye All right, so the fire has been kind of burning here for a little bit and we're starting to get our first holes. No, I mean, it's already see-through, but we're getting our first holes throughout the, uh, our roof. So we don't have a lot of roof to burn left for it's pretty much just polka dot holes everywhere. So that's something to note. You want to keep your fire as far away from these space blankets as possible, that's for sure. Something else I don't know if I even mentioned, but where we are here, this is the most densely populated cougar place on the world. So there's more cougars here than anywhere else. So that's something to note. And black bears are out right now, but I ain't sweating it. We're good, we chilling. But I just thought it was kind of interesting, let you guys know. I was just thinking about it. One more thing you should add to your pack is just like some duct tape. Cause if I had some duct tape, I could like patch up those holes. Even if I only had like some pieces of it. Well, the more you know, I guess there's bats here. I just got dive bombed by a freaking bat. So that's something else I guess I get to look forward to tonight. Just watch out for some bats coming around, swinging the bat around at me. Uh, that's a little interesting. Fire is still kicking it. We're just kicking it here. Uh, that's about all that's gonna happen for the rest of the night. The sun is going down for sure. It's getting dark out here. Hey, what can you do, right? You just sit here and enjoy it as much as you can. At least it's not raining right this second, knock on wood. All right, well, that's about it. I'm getting kind of tired. I'm going to see if I can try and lay kind of comfortably here in the dirt, maybe move some logs around and try and catch some Z's or something. I don't know. We're just going to lay here at this point. And yeah, just got to feed the fire, keep her warm. And other than that, just got to make it through the night. So sleep tight, boys. Well, I'm sure you guys won't be able to see this, but uh, all the stars are out tonight and it is abs absolutely, it's very beautiful up there. Just, just trust me. I know you won't be able to see it, but it's beautiful up there. So stars are out. It's awesome, man. Loving it. Having a good night out here. That's what we're doing. Just making the best of it. All right, it's 11 o'clock. We're chilling here. Just doing the same old, same old. Battery is dead on the GoPro. See you in the morning. Midnight right now. Fire is absolutely ripping. Freaking warm. Base blanket ceiling. Trying to get some sleep here. I don't know if that's going to happen, but. Oh, top of the morning, boys. 
Tell you what, it's a lot longer of a night when you're outside. When you're at home, you blink your eyes, and the nighttime's over, and you're in the morning, you're like, damn, I wish I could sleep more. I wish I could say I slept at all. That was, a, that was a long night, but I don't know if you guys can see this, but the sun is finally starting to come back out, so that means it's go time. Let's get the hell out of here. We used up all our firewood. We ain't got nothing left, not a single drop. At like 2 a.m., I had to get more, start collecting more firewood again, so even when you think, like I said, when you think you got enough firewood, double it. Double it even more than what you think is doubling it, because you're going to need every dribbly drop of firewood you need. And I tell you what, without the fire last night, it was way too cold. So thank God for that beautiful fire that we've had. And that nice that nice fire pit setup that we have here. Really good. So glad we have it. But yeah, we're out of fire. We're, let's get the heck out of here. What you guys didn't see was the mental struggles I went throughout the night. Dealing with the cold, thinking animals are going to come and eat me and get me while I'm trying to catch some sleep. You really feel alone out here in this vast wilderness. I hope this video showed you how you could get through the night cold, scared, alone, hungry, whatever it is, you can get through the night with just some simple supplies. And this video just shows how important it is to bring those and be somewhat prepared.